Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. So today we're going to be doing a little experiment. Something that I get asked all the time is, can alumilite be dissolved in acetone? And as far as I understand, I don't think that it will do anything to it. Um, once it's cured, I don't think acetone has any effect on, on alumilite clear. Um, so we're going to test it out today. We're going to dunk a couple of these things in some acetone and just kind of see what happens. I'm going to let it go for, I'm going to check it like overnight, um, which I think I've actually done that before. So I don't think that there's going to be an eff any effect on that, but I'm going to check it in a week and then I'm going to let it go 30 days. And if there's no change, if there's nothing apparent that it's not dissolved, then I think we can safely say that you can't dissolve uh, alumilite clear in acetone. So I just want to let everybody know so we're going to be using Alumilite Clear, which is a urethane-based resin. There's also epoxy-based resins, and then there's also polyester-based resins. From what I understand, polyester, I do think, will dissolve uh, in acetone. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I've never tried it. And then epoxy, I don't think it has any effect on it either. But um, we're going to try urethane-based today and, and see what happens. So let's get some acetone out, fill the cup, and then we'll let this thing go. And I'll kind of pop back in and let you guys know what we see, uh, like I said, after a day, after a week, and after 30 days. And uh, we'll get this question answered. All right, so it's been 24 hours, and let's see what we got. Oh, it's kind of rubbery. Definitely hasn't dissolved or anything, but it, it is having an effect on it. So that was the thick piece, and it's just kind of floppy. Let's get down here and see what these thin pieces look like. Same deal, pretty rubbery, pretty flexible, um, but again, not dissolved, just having a little bit of an effect on it. So let's put it back under. Obviously, it hasn't dissolved it. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and we'll come back in about six more days, and we'll see where we're at at that point. All right, it's been a week. Let's see what we got. Still pretty flexible, but it hasn't dissolved entirely. Same goes for these, very flexible. So they're still intact. We still got the entire piece there's there's a little bit more of that but after a week we're about the same so let's put it in here and what we're going to do is leave it for 30 days uh, and see if it ends up dissolving or not all right so it's been a month let's see what we got All right, there you have it. We did our experiment. After 30 days, I would say Alumilite Clear does not dissolve in acetone. I don't think any of the mass of this, uh, you know, was, was taken away. It did soften it, uh, you know, it kind of cracked here and there, but doesn't dissolve. Um, so this was an in interesting experiment. I really was kind of curious myself. I had never actually done an experiment like this. Uh, and so I'm actually kind of uh, curious to try, you know, an epoxy product. I'm kind of guessing that all epoxies for the most part are gonna be about the same. Um, so I'm gonna try some amazing clear cast. And then I also wanna try polyester resin because that one I think does dissolve. Uh, but uh, interesting test. I hope that it was, uh, I don't know, informative, interesting for you guys. So if this is your first time on my channel, we do all kinds of resin casting projects, tips and tricks and experiments just like this. Uh, so if you're interested in that kind of information and content, definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos get posted. And if you're thinking about getting into resin casting, but you're not really sure where to begin, check out my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions like what do I need to get started? How does resin work? It'll help you get over that 
initial learning curve so you can get into your shop and start doing some resin cast projects of your own. It's available on my website if you're interested. So until next time guys, thanks for watching this video and happy casting.